And I would like to remind you the words that the United Kingdom have already heard, uh, which are important again. We will not give up and we will not lose. We will fight till the end at sea, in the air. We will continue fighting for our land, whatever the cost. We will fight in the forests, in the fields, on the shores, in the streets. I would like to add that we will fight uh, on the on the banks of different rivers like Dnieper, and we will. We are looking for your help, for the help of the civilized countries. We are, we are thankful for this help, and we. And I'm I'm very grateful to you, Boris. Please increase the pressure of sanctions against this uh, country, and please recognize this country a, as a terrorist state, and please make sure that our Ukrainian skies are safe. Please make sure that you do what needs to be done and what is stipulated by the greatness of your country. Best of all to Ukraine and uh, to the United Kingdom. Hello, Mr. President. Hello. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hi. How are you? Thank you. Not bad. Нитро для удара. Даю, передаю. Нитро, я удар. Алло. Нитро, я удар. Слушаю тебя. Удар я Нитро. Шестой полк почти потерял. Что? Шестой полк пока не могу доложить, пока собираю. Let's have a look at what is inside the average invading Russian soldier lunchbox. It's a big army, so surely they're well fed. Oh, crikey! The best before date is 2015. According to the Ukrainian soldier having a bit of a rummage through the lunchboxes here. What about this one? Yeah, nah, 2015. It must be an old box. Russia is reusing the boxes. No way a modern soldier doesn't have modern food. That's a solid knife, by the way. Crocodile Dundee would approve of that knife. What have we got here? What do we got? Doritos, fruit, vegetables, a fucking energy drink from Logan Paul and KSI. Nah, stinky tin food and stale bickies. What? Fucking bullshit. I would refuse to march forward if I were a Russian soldier. I'd refuse to blow up pregnant women and children. That is just fucked. There's one thing a leader should never be a tight ass about, and that is catering. Clearly, Vladimir has been a Scrooge McDucky duck wanker and cut corners on the catering. Russian soldiers are about to be hit with an onslaught of gastro and sore tummies. Yep, yeah, well, yeah, well, that's actually probably a great thing. They should go home, pack up your lunch boxes, and piss off home. Okay, so they're not going home. Instead, they're going into people's backyards to beat and steal their chickens. The bloody Ukrainian chooks are putting up a hell of a fight. Just go home. Leave the men, women, non-binary people, children, and fucking chickens alone. No one wants to be dragged into the Stone Age, you dickheads. Is that message not getting through? Fuck off. Подожди, за... Здесь такой всю жизнь мечтал. Подожди. А что за у нас? Слепил. 
подчистили. Просто подчистили. Все, аж мотор впал, блядь.